Bengala Rupee-based Ather Energy has been teasing the S340 build as India's first smart electric scooter for a while now and many have been waiting for a chance for a test ride. The startup's first smart electric scooter was unveiled at the Web Summit Surge Conference in Bengala Ru on Tuesday. Ather Energy founder co-founder Taran Mato spoke about some of the design philosophies behind the scooter, as well as some of the challenges the company faced in cutting down on its cost and weight and in extending the battery life cycle. While a test ride wasn't on the cards at the company's headquarters on Saturday morning, Meta did share details of the dates for pre-orders, as well as a timeline for production and launch cities for the S340, detailing plans of its software features, such as personalized profiles, riding modes like sport and economy, and onboard navigation. Under the hood at the Energy S340 connectivity and dashboard features, Built as a smart scooter, the S340 has GSM and Bluetooth connectivity. The startup has made a decision to move from Android to Linux for the dashboard operating system. While we weren't shown the dashboard, a spokesperson later confirmed that it would use Google Maps for navigation through the web browser. It doesn't really change much for developers, because the apps are still HTML5 apps. Internally things haven't changed dramatically, Meitu explains. Users will be able to track the vehicle using their smartphones, remotely control and monitor the vehicle, enable fast charging by using a slide drawn its app. You could create custom riding profiles from your mobile phone itself, so that when the vehicle starts, on your profile, those settings will already be pre-saved. So you can specify, what kind of acceleration response, top speed you want, and then save them on your profile, and then go to the vehicle, and select your profile again, those are the exact settings you will find. Apart from vehicle location tracking, a lot of work has gone into providing vehicle analytics to the rider, on the dashboard and on its app. Users will be able to extrapolate their average driving speed. Meta says that the team working on the data analytics love building their own profiles on the prototype, to gauge their energy efficiency. There's this one guy who's basically like a racer he does the testing most of the time. If you see his throttle response, it's either 100 or 0, says Meta. He always does the fastest laps, but his energy consumption is nearly 80% more than another another guy who rides very sensibly, but takes 15% lesser time. Vehicle analytics can read skid patches, and help inform the user if they are an unsafe rider who takes sharp turns, Meta says, adding that good riding behavior would not influence just the battery life cycle, but other components as well. It's a long-term thing, but the sheer power of what data can do for you is sort of hitting everybody in this team now, it's scamifying the experience, he says.